Hello, sports fans. TK here, bringing you the latest and greatest Blood Bowl news. We are going to look at the results from Friday's matchup, the Snot Picker Ball Kickers, and their game against the Inland at Sunbathers. Sometimes TK says things, and sometimes TK is wrong. And while I did manage to call the Executioners versus the Coffin Kickers game almost perfectly, old TK is about to murder himself a big plate of crow. The plucky halflings managed to cook up a heap and helping of hurting on the lizards, with halfling lineman Everett Chubb chubbing his way into the end zone early after having a treeman huck him down the field. On the next possession, Burn Herb showed that his bark is as bad as his bite, inflicting a casualty, knocking Soros Matsuzusker out of the game. Then late in the first half, lineman Isengram mangled Beckettis, reducing his armor by one. And let me tell you, that skink will never live that down. The shame of getting beat on by a halfling. Right before the half, Nalok knocked Bertan Proudfoot right out of the game. From there, the game stayed relatively quiet and uneventful until Otho Underhill waddled his tubby chubby butt right in the end zone to give a final score of 2-0. to zero. The halflings also beat the lizards 2-1 to one in casualties. I guess the Islanders coach did not get the memo. Old TK laid the plan out for him in the last video, gave the halflings the ball first, stay deep, don't fight the tree men and make them play an attrition game. If you do that, the win should be yours. But not everybody is open to advice. Round two is underway. The executioners are pulling the bye. Who do you do is taking on the snot picker ball kickers in the first game of the of the round. This looks to be a little bit different matchup for the ball kickers. The Tomb Kings team will have the meat, so to speak, to go toe to toe with the tree men. And with no stinky skinkies, the halflings will really struggle to get people down. They will need to pile on a single player just to get him on the pitch. Now I will say the Tomb Kings coach is also a relatively new coach. So so that will be a little bit of a detriment. The experience gap is going to be real. But I think the overall uh, strength and ability of the Tomb Kings team should be enough to help kind of bridge that gap. Will the Halflings be able to cook up another win and get themselves a second breakfast? Or will the Tomb Kings have them packing their bags and crying for mummy? TK's prediction, Tomb Kings won, ball kickers won. I think this game ends in a tie. Casualty side, though, I think the Tomb Kings are going to take it 3-1. to one. The second game of the round is going to be the Sunbathers, and they will be taking on the Coffin Kickers. The Vampires and the Sunbathers are both looking to make statement comeback wins. The Vamps have the agility and the ability to outmaneuver the Lizards, but boy, do those Lizards hit hard. Old TK thinks those Coffin Kickers are looking to change strategies and give up the ground and pound and try an aerial assault instead. And I think that will fit the vampire play style a little bit better, especially given what he's taken on in this league. He's struggled to break armor in both the exhibition and league games that he's played, so I think going the agility aerial route is going to do him better. Will the coffin kickers get scorched by the sunbathers, or will they hypnotize those lizards and put them into a grave situation? TK's picks, I think the Coffin Kickers, I think they have themselves a bit of a barn burner here, and I think the final score is 3-1, to one, and I think most of that comes through the air. Casualties, I think Coffin Kickers are going to get one, but I do think the Sunbathers will hold the advantage there. I think they'll get two total. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more Blood Bowl action.